Hey YouTube, welcome to TCTN. I'm in full troll mode today. Well, 95% because I have a hat on to kind of camouflage a little bit. <laughs> I need a haircut. I have on no face paint, so I am just, yeah, as you see. This video is how to be empathetic towards someone. And this is something I've come across a lot lately where people just don't seem to listen. And basically that's what being empathetic is, is not only listening, but accepting what someone is telling you as their experience. Even if you don't have something similar that, that has happened to you in the past to help you relate to what they're saying, that's okay. Just listen to what they're saying and accept that their feelings and their experience is their feelings and their experience. And just ask them maybe, you know, is there anything I can do to help you? And sometimes, a lot of times they'll say, well, just talking to you with it has helped. People just want to be heard. You know, we have two ears for a reason. There go one, there go the other one. We have two shoulders. You know, I tell people you can have an ear, you know, to talk to, and you can have a shoulder to lean on. I have another one. If you need them both, let me know. We can work that out too. And so, but just listen to what people say. There was a situation years ago where, oh gosh, this was kind of sad, <laughs> when my great grandmother passed away and I was, I had met someone and we had been talking, you know, less than a month. And, you know, I was just kind of down one day and he was like, oh, you sound different. Are you okay? And I said, well, I'm just kind of reflecting, you know, thinking about my great grandmother, you know, she, you know, recently passed away. And, you know, every now and then it just kind of hits me and I get really sad. You know, I have good memories, but then you're thinking about the good memories and then you get sad because it's wild. This person's not here anymore. And so he started talking about an episode on good times when somebody had died. And I'm just like, dude, like I'm talking about real life. That's the TV show. And he said, well, you know, I didn't, you know, I haven't lost anyone recently. And so I don't know what that feels like. And then I remember they talked about it on the show. And I'm like, I'm not talking about a show. I'm talking about my real life experience. And I was so annoyed. And so I had to explain to him, it's okay if you can't relate. I'm just sharing my feelings with you. You ask me what was wrong, I'm telling you what's wrong. You ask me how I was feeling, I'm telling you how I'm feeling. Not for you to say you can relate or to give an example of something else. And surely not for you to bring up a TV show. <laughs> But just to listen and it can be a catch-22 because we do want to relate to people we do want to understand where they're coming from and so what I'm saying is 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 that it's okay if you don't have a reference point in your personal life that you can tap into to be like yeah I kind of you know know what that feels like the bottom line is and they taught us this when I was in school never tell a client I know exactly how you feel Never tell someone you know exactly how they feel. Two people can be in the same car accident. You can be sitting side by side with somebody and you and you both are in this accident. You don't feel the exact same way as this other person. And so that's something they told us was never say that because it's not true. And so when someone is sharing something with you, it's okay to say, you know, I've had a similar experience. I can imagine, you know, maybe what you're going through or what you're feeling, but never say, I know exactly how you feel. Oh yeah, well, you must feel this way. You must feel that way. Because for you to say that means that you're not listening to how they are telling you how they feel. And I've been guilty of that too. You know, I try to relate and I overdo it sometimes. And then the other person is just like, what are you talking about? And then I'm like, oh shoot, I'm sorry. And then I'll just shut up and just listen. Or I'll just start, you know, sh repeating back to them, in other words, what they said, which is like active listening. When someone tells you something and you say something like, so what I hear you saying is, and you, then you repeat back what you heard them say, and they either confirm or clarify what they did say. And so that's a tool that you can use um, learning how to be more empathetic toward people is even if you can't relate or you don't have an experience to draw on to relate to what they're saying just listen to them and practice active listening skills with them and they will know that you are paying attention and you are validating their feelings you are accepting their feelings for what they are you're not trying to tell them how they feel or how they shouldn't feel you know that type of thing and so it's it can be challenging because we want to say things to make people feel better, but sometimes it, it doesn't work because the things we say negate how they feel and then it just makes them end up feeling frustrated or that you're not listening and that's what you don't want. If you find yourself the person that people don't seem to really get, 
or <laughs> you realize you're talking to someone that seems like they're not listening to you, they're dismissing what you're saying, or you know, you can share like a sad incident or just something that kind of frazzled you and they just gloss over it and then they start talking about, you know, their day. It comes to a point where you're just like, why am I talking to this person? And so you do have choices. You can either just make a mental note not to share deep-rooted feelings with this person. You can decide just to share surface things like, oh yeah, I went to the store today, everything was all right. And if that's okay with you to keep that person around for that, that's fine. But if you want something of more substance, you will have to lean on or talk to someone else in your network. Also, don't feel discouraged or disheartened when you're trying to share something with someone and they don't hear you or it seems like they're dismissing what you're saying or not really paying attention to what you're saying. Try not to take it personal. Some people just don't have an empathetic gene. And I don't think there really is a gene or not. I don't know. <laughs> Some people just don't seem able to easily relate to other people. And so don't take it personal as in, you know, there's something wrong with you or you keep saying the same thing in different ways, hoping that they get it. Once you realize they're not getting it, just stop talking about it. Just let it go and just make that mental note I mentioned earlier to just talk to another person about it or journal it or whatever you need to do. Like just reach out to another person that you know will really hear you and be there for you emotionally to listen to what you're going through. And it's the same with good news too. Some people have good news and they want to share. And you're like, oh my gosh, I had a great time when I went down to the beach. And they're like, oh yeah, last summer when I went to the beach. And it's just like, dude, like I'm trying to share something I was excited about. And they just like took over the whole conversation. <laughs> so it can go either for good things or bad things or things that are indifferent. And the way to test the waters with this is... I find myself doing this too, and this happened um, recently where I had told someone, I said, oh yeah, you know, because they asked what I was doing that day. So I'm like, oh, I was just working on an article for my website. And they were like, oh, well, yeah, today at work, such and such. And they just started going on and on. They never asked me about my website. They never asked me about, about what types of articles I write. They never asked me about what types of stories I write. They never asked about what types of videos I do. Like, they did not ask anything at all. And I was just like, hmm, okay, well, this is a person that either was hard of hearing and didn't hear me or <laughs> they just flat out don't care. And sometimes it may seem like people don't care, but it may just be that they're just not empathetic or they don't realize that they're not really hearing what you're saying. And there are, unfortunately, a lot of people like that. They just don't get it. And they don't realize that they're not getting it. And even when you explain it to them, then they get defensive. And so it's just like, ah. Oh. So that's another thing. If someone is explaining something to you don't get defensive. If they're saying, I feel this way because of this, just listen. It's not personal against you. Even if you're in that situation they describe, they're telling you they feel a certain way because of whatever. Don't get defensive. That's not the purpose of why they're telling you what they're telling you. Now, if they're coming at you like, well, you did this and that made me feel something this way, da, da, da. okay, then that's personal because they're saying you actually did something. But if they're just saying, you know, I feel this way because they're just telling you how they feel. Don't get defensive. Just listen. Just listen. It is difficult, I understand, to empathize with someone when they're dealing with emotional pain or if they're having um, depression, which is high right now. You know, COVID, the election just passed by the time this video was uploaded. And it's just hard. You know, still social distancing, um, sheltering at home, <laughs> staycations, <laughs> Or working from home for your job and then working at home raising your family it's a lot and so a lot of people are, go, are just feeling like just a mix of emotions over what's going on in the country and in the world right now and so those are things that you can't see if you see someone walking using crutches and they have a cast on their leg you're like oh wow like they, they're probably in pain let me you know go get the door for them if you're getting ready to go into you know an establishment or something like that so people can see, they physically see that this person is uncomfortable and this person needs help. Internal stuff, depression, um, emo emotional turmoil, excuse me, those are things people can't see. And even when you tell them, or if someone were to tell you, you know, I'm having a really, you know, bad day today, like I'm just really struggling today and, you know, I'm concerned about you know, my family members and, you know, I haven't seen so-and-so in like eight months because of COVID. You can't see that. All you have is what they say. And that's what makes it important to listen to what they say and to actually hear 
what they're saying because to look at them you may think that they're okay or even someone who's disabled but they're not in a wheelchair you know they're not using aids to walk with they may appear to be fully functional people but inside they're struggling and they're hurting and even if they were to tell you oh my gosh like you know my hip is really sore today they'll be like you're all right <laughs> you know and so it's hard to be empathetic when you can't see not you that are watching but just you in general it's harder to be empathetic to things that you cannot see. And I know I keep saying this and the basis of this is to just listen to what people say. If they trust you enough with their feelings, they will tell you how they feel. However, if you're not really listening to them or if you're downplaying what they say or you're dismissing what they say or overshadowing what they say, eventually they may stop sharing with you because it'll seem like you don't really care. And so that's something to think about. And so the question is, do you think you're empathetic toward other people? Do you find yourself getting defensive if someone shares a situation that you just happen to be in when they're just simply telling you how they feel? You know, how do you deal with that? And when someone tells you that they're having a bad day or, you know, they're in pain or if they're disabled, but they look like they're able-bodied, like, how do you deal with that? Do you really think that you're an empathetic person? Do you think that you have room to grow towards being even more empathetic than you are if you are? And just ways that you show people that you care. And so that's the, those are the questions. I stumbled over my words a little bit. I apologize. Thank you for being here. And thank you for watching. Share, comment, like, subscribe. And you will see me in the next video. Thanks. Bye.